Hello everyone, Gene Molina here from Natural Tennis Solutions. What we're going to try to go over today is the trajectory of the ball. Hitting a ball to its destination is one thing, now hitting the ball with a certain height is another thing. So when we try to have ourselves hit the ball at a certain height, some of us usually try to get the shot off with using our racket face to be open if we need some more height. Some of us try to hit it with a racket face that's a little more closed. In truth here, the racket should be square when you make contact. So the racket should actually be at a point where it's setting up here. When I hit this ball, this ball should go straight if my racket incline remains level. I want to make sure that you guys understand that the incline of the racket is what will give you higher trajectory. So what I've done here is I've, I've tried to figure out what can make trajectory different if the racket face is the same and that's just incline. So when we get the incline to go up as the racket stays square, we can get a higher trajectory on the ball. What I've tried to do is make myself feel what's happening. So if I do this without the racket and I just use my hand, what I can do is I can make my arm go certain inclines, but the only way to really get that to happen is to really focus on my elbow. My elbow right now will go at a low height or low incline to go through. So as I go to hit this ball, low elbow makes the ball go that height. Now I'm going to try to go with a higher incline with my elbow. So on this one, I can go a higher incline. And if you notice, the ball did go higher than the previous ball. And if I go to the highest incline that my elbow can go to, then I will actually be able to get even more incline. Showing you that example with my hand should get you guys to try this. Make sure you try it. Bounce the ball, get your elbow to go low, get your elbow to come a little higher, and then get your elbow to go up at its highest. It really just increases the incline. So if I show it to you with the tennis racket, here's what the result will be. So I hope I make all these. I'm kind of nervous in front of the camera. Let's see what happens. Got to get this low elbow to happen. So low elbow. Now I will go with the, um, I call it the loop elbow because it's a loopy shot when we go to a medium type height with the elbow. So now we go to medium height. There's my loop. And now the highest elbow. Each one of these shots should get a different trajectory. If you place it well, you know, it's, it's a pretty good uh, shot to get off, but the trajectory is what we're really focusing on. So give yourself some time. Set up your arm to do what it's got to do, but focusing on what this elbow is doing. It's a feel type of shot. You want to feel that the elbow height is at a certain spot, and then you get yourself to really understand how to control your trajectory. Hopefully you guys like this video. I'm really trying to get off a, a few more videos with showing you guys about trajectory, direction, and the next one will be about speed. Um, I, what I really want to see is if you guys can leave some comments on this video and let me know what you guys are looking for, if you're looking for something specific. I, I have my set plan of things, but I do want to actually relate to what you guys are having trouble with if you need help with anything specific. So hopefully this video helped everyone. Uh, please subscribe and I uh, will see you on the next one.